I am Anil Kumar and in this video we will understand the basic concept about internal and external division of line segment. Now I am going to use the concept of vectors to actually answer this question. You can also use coordinate geometry. right? Uh, now most of my students who are doing vectors they are interested in this particular topic and therefore I have extended it to vectors. So let us review a few basic concepts and let us say that we have two points here. One is let us say point A and uh, somewhere um, we have point B and let us say this is this is point B for us. Okay, so these are the two points A and B. Normally whenever you have a point we say the point has a coordinate value and we write x and y coordinates, right? So let us say this is this is x1 and this is y1. So we'll write the coordinates as x1, y1 for A. Similarly, for B, we could have coordinate values x2 and, and y2, correct? So for B, we could write coordinate values as x2, y2. So these are two points. Effectively, what we are saying is, that these points are with reference to origin, right? So there is origin O and from origin, if you want to go to point A, you move X units, X1 units along the horizontal axis and Y1 units along the Y axis to reach there, right? Similarly, if you have to go to point B, you have to, you know, go X2 units along the horizontal and y2 units along the vertical line right so then you reach point b so sometimes we also refer these points as o a so o is position vector right or, or or we could say just position coordinates for the time being right so so if i use the word uh, position right so if i say position vector uh, some of you who are not doing vectors, you can say position coordinates, right? So th that is what I'm trying to say, right? So I'm saying that uh, OA is is the coordinate point x1, y1, right? And uh, OB is the position of B. In our coordinate plane, right, OB just gives the coordinate points of B with reference to this coordinate plane where origin is at zero correct so that is what we're trying to say now let's talk about division of this line we could have a point here let me call this point as p now this point could divide a b in some ratio right so let us say this small portion which divides between a and b is small a and the one between p and b is b right so in that case what we say is p divides segment AB sometimes we may write a line over it saying segment AB so we do say P divides the segment AB in the ratio of A is to B in ratio of A is to B right that is what we say so so here's a point P which divides AB in the ratio of A is to B now generally the questions are what are the coordinate points of P, right? So given the values of A and B, how do we find P? Or how do we find the position vector P, right? So those who are doing vectors, they could treat this as position vector P. Now the formula for this is, proof of this formula is given in another video, but here I'll give you the formula so that those who are using coordinate geometry can also use the formula right so we say the position vector of p you could write o o to p also if i say o to p that means i'm going like o this value in x and y so that is how we get x and y coordinates right so let me write here as uh, as o p okay so the position vector p will be equals to the ratio in which divides b over some of these two b over sum of a and b times the position vector of a which i'm saying oa right 
that is the the one value and then we add to this a of a plus b the position vector of b let me write op here right okay so so that is how we get coordinate points of p right so what i'm trying to say here is that if i could select any point in general for example let us take point a as uh, let us say point a is for us 2 comma 5 okay and point b as let us say 6 comma 12 okay so these are my two points and we need to find point p which can divide a b in the ratio of let us say uh, in the ratio of uh, let us say 2 is to 3 so p divides in the ratio of 2 is to 3 okay in that case coordinate points of p can be found as equal to so i'm not writing op i could write op also op gives position value which is in terms of x and y so b b is this value 3 right so i write 3 over 2 plus 3 2 plus 3 which is 5 times coordinate points of a which is 2 comma 5 so 2 is the x value 5 is the y value plus 2 over 2 plus 5 times coordinate points of b which is 6 comma 12 correct so then what you can do is you get to 3 over 7 times 2 comma 5 plus 2 over 7 times 6 comma 12 right now to get the coordinates of p these are the x values and those are the y values so you add the x values and the y values correct so you could write this as big bracket so 3 times 2 is 6 right 6 over 7 and here we'll add these x values these are the x values right so i'm adding these x values after multiplying by these numbers so so it will be 3 times 2 is 6 6 over 7 and here 2 times 6 is 12 so right 12 over 7 these are my x coordinate values and the y coordinates values will be 3 times 5 15 over 7 plus 2 times 12 24 over 7 do you see that so that is how I could get my x and y coordinate points of p using this particular formula. You get the idea, right? So of course you could simplify this and say 6 plus 12 is 18 over 7 and 15 plus 24 is uh, 9 and 39 over 7, right? So, so those becomes coordinates of point p, right? So even if you write straight away just point P, it means coordinate points of P, right? So, so that is how we could actually calculate the coordinates of a point which divides. Now whenever point P is within A and B, we say this is internal division. So it is internal. Since the point P is between these two points, correct however you could have external division of a line segment also now let us consider another line segment right so let us say these are my two points i'm not taking coordinates and i'm not doing the calculation but i'm trying to explain you the concept so i'll just extend this line a bit you will understand why so let us say these are my points a and b and i have a point p this time not in between them but I think it's on the left side of A, right? So let us say this is my point P, which divides them into, let us say in the ratio of, let's say 1, 2, 3. Since I have moved from A, 3 units left, I will call this as a ratio of minus 3 is 2. And see how many units I have to go from P to B. So it is like, let me use another ink. If I'm going from P to B, then in this case it will be 1 unit, 2 unit, 3 unit, 4 unit, 5 unit, 6 unit, 7 unit, and let us say 8 units, right? So the ratio will be minus 3 to 8. So if the ratio which P divides AB 
is minus 3 to 8, then it means it is external division, right? So this case, when P is not between A and B, we are talking about external line segment division. So in this case, point P divides A and B in the ratio of minus 3 is to 8. Now as an exercise, you can use this formula and find point P which will divide line segment given to us which we calculated earlier with let us say the line segment is this one join, joining point A and B the same example now you need to find the coordinate points of P which divides this line segment externally in the ratio of minus 3 is to 8 right so what will you do you will use the same formula same coordinate points only thing different will be here this term will be 8 divided by minus 3 plus 8 which is 5 you get the idea right so 8 divided by 5 times the same values plus here we will have minus 3 divided by 5 times this value so once you calculate the, that you will get the coordinate points so let me write down the answer which you should get for p it should be the x values uh, i mean okay so let me write down the general formula here so OP in this case will be 8 divided by minus 3 plus 8 times coordinate points of A which is 2 and 5 for us plus for B will be minus 3 divided by minus 3 plus 8 which is 5 plus times coordinate points for B which is 6, 12 right so once you calculate Combine the x points and y points to get the result. So that is how you could actually solve a question where external division is given to you. right? So in the next example, we'll take up external division and then solve such an equation. I hope that helps. Thank you and all the best.